It's recording. Okay. Um, I just wanted to go over real quick, like, uh, just update some some of the things that are going on, and then we'll just have Billy go into his spiel. Um, but basically, you guys know that Twenty One Day Fix Real Time just finished up, and then Twenty One Day Fix Extreme will be starting on the 29th. So that's really exciting. I'm definitely going to do it. Um, so definitely like put in the chat box if you're going to be doing 21 Day Fix Extreme as well. Um, summit registration, if you are going to summit, May 6th is when you can register for your workout and get your meals. Um, I'm for sure signing up for Joel's workout. I definitely want to do a lift four workout with him. Um, but there's also workouts with Autumn and, and um, Tony and uh, Jericho. That would probably be a cool one too, because then you would get a preview of uh, 100 Morning Meltdown um, coming out. So there, that's coming up May 6th. And then um, also plant-based recover May 20th. Also, I'm gonna get that and try that out. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I think that's gonna be awesome. I think there's a lot of customers, even if they're not vegan or vegetarian, they are lactose intolerant. So they don't have dairy or they just don't wanna have dairy. So that's gonna be a huge game changer for anybody that has that. And I think whenever a new product comes out, you want to try it out. You, you won't be able to explain it to your customers if you don't try it yourself first. So I am always about trying any new thing that comes out no matter what. Um, even if it doesn't sound as appealing to me, um, I always try it, give it a try. And usually I like it. I like almost everything we have pretty much. So um, you'll be pleasantly surprised sometimes if you just give it a go. So that's just, I wanted to run down that really quickly. Um, but I wanted to introduce my husband. If you don't know him, his name's Billy. Um, and he actually just started his own company and left his corporate job. I'm going to. What's up? Him. What's up? <laughs> he left his corporate job in uh, January. No, December. December sorry. I, I left in January. He left in December, started his own company and has been just like hitting the ground running ever since. And I think he has a really good perspective, obviously too, with seeing my Oh, shit, see my sorry. business and um he has really good tips for you guys just from an entrepreneur standpoint but also from a perspective of a husband seeing our business so he has a lot that he can share with you guys and um he's learned a ton from grant cardone his sales team and wants to share those takeaways with you as well as well as his experience as an entrepreneur um he also just started his own podcast so I'll definitely be sharing that with you guys too, eventually, once those are up and running. So cool. take it away, honey. Yeah, you want to over a little bit? <laughs> yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Um, hey, Megan, Jenna, Christy, and Frankie. Yeah, so Ashley said, so um, I actually don't think I know any of you except for Megan and you know Frankie. You know Frankie. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, Ashley said it right. So back, actually, I started my company called the RSA Group and um, give you a little backstory. Actually, back in like July of last year, but it took me like five months to quit my job, corporate jobs, so I could focus on it full time. Um, and that really like kind of goes into what we're gonna talk about today is like commitment. Because I was I was like dipping halfway in, kind of like how a lot of coaches are. You know, they got their main gig and then they look at, you know, beach body or or this business as a part-time thing, right? Something that you could make some passive income, a few hundred dollars a month to you know, a few thousand dollars, a, you know, a year. I mean, that's, that's great for a part-time thing. And kind of how that correlates to what, what I was doing before was, so I started off when I was at my company previously before I quit and I started my company and I, I wasn't fully committed. Um, so I made the leap in December to just say, Hey, you know, I'm going to go full time at this. And ever since then, um, it's been and skyrocketed up. So it's been very, very, very busy. So as Ashley said, you know, I own that company. Um, I started a podcast called The Gong Podcast. Um, the Gong symbolizes, uh, like in sales, I don't know if, if any of you have any family members in sales, like it's a thing that you, when you make a sale, you, you hit the gong and it makes like the noise, like brrr. And the reason <laughs> we did that is because it creates like energy. And as like, you know, whenever you guys sell like a challenge pack or anything, it's a really cool feeling. So like, you know, I look at it like that, you do that and then you, you, you hit something and, and it creates momentum. So. We started the Gong podcast, and then also 
Um, I started a digital marketing company about three months back with a friend of mine who is a professor. So, um, and that started out as like a passion project. And actually it's perfectly synonymous with my current company right now. So a lot's changed in like the past like five months, but all of it ties into what I'm gonna start talking about now, which is really commitment. Where's my phone real quick? I got a definition on there. <laughs> so commitment, right? It, it's very broad, but this, I wanted to start with this. The real definition of commitment is the state or quality of being dedicated to a cause or activity. What makes that extremely important is, is that people say they want to do this or they want to be the best beach body coach or, 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 Hey, you know what? I'm going to send out a hundred messages today. But like, if you look at this definition, it's being dedicated to a cause or activity. You could do all you want or say all you want, but you're really not committed until you're committed because it's something that's like in your mind, like you can commit to something, you can commit to stop doing something or you can commit to doing something. But you can talk about it all you want, right? But you're not, as I said, you're not committed until you're committed. And I know that sounds like so redundant, redundant <laughs> yeah, but it really is true because people talk about being committed all the time. And so this ties into like the first thing I wanted to talk about was in order for, for you to be committed to your business, your team needs to be committed to, to them too. Um, and this statistic that I'm about to read out is pretty interesting. So the number one problem, not just in, in, the, in your beach body business, but in my business and in any business in the world is actually like employee disengagement. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but 70 to 78%, uh, and this is a statistic. I just learned this at like this, it's called this business boot camp I went to down in Miami like three weeks ago, like 300 entrepreneurs. It was awesome. But it was 70 to 78% of, net, of people are, net, are disengaged with what they do. That number correlates exactly, it's because 76% of people are living paycheck to paycheck. So the national disengagement is in alignment with people that are living paycheck to paycheck. Now that's pretty deep and, and, and that really comes down to commitment at the end of the day. Not that you can't be happy living paycheck to paycheck, that's not what I'm saying, but for the people that are disengaged to equal the same amount that's living paycheck to pay paycheck, they're disengaged because they're not committed to whatever they're doing, their who, their why, their family. It, it, and it just equals out to that. So, so yeah, so as I said, you know, people living national people living paycheck to paycheck equals out to the national engagement. So that comes down to the commitment level because when challenges arise, people tend to back off right? That's actually when you need to ramp it up. Yeah. So when, when what? I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm so like, like, like yeah. <laughs> when you're facing any sort of adversity, you're really, you're really not, it's really, it's not what you think it is. Um, I don't know if any of you guys ever heard of David Goggins. He's uh, if you haven't heard of David Goggins, I would totally like look up his life story. He's a Navy SEAL who just, his story is just crazy. But he goes, talks about when your mind thinks you're at 100%, you're really only at 40. So when, and he uses this example, what he did like an ultra marathon and it was like 100 miles and he's never trained for it. He was like, screw it. I was in the SEALs, you know, he did it and he finished off with, the, with his feet bleeding and everything. But he remembered when he was running and this correlates to your business that, oh my God, I'm burned out. No, you're not. You're really only at 40%. You can go way more than you really think you can. Um, hello. More people hopping on. More people hopping on. <laughs> We're talking about commitment, if you're just hopping on. Just started a few minutes ago. Um, but yeah, so it, when your body and mind and your business, and you're like, oh man, I've tried everything I can for my business. No, you haven't at all. And we're going to talk about like commitment to follow up here in a little bit, commitment to sales, commitment to, and I have a tendency to go on a tangent about whatever <laughs> it is. So if I do, somebody just tell me to stop, but, um, cause I have a lot of notes here and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through them all, but, um, like the one thing that I really want to talk about with commitment is normalcy and being average. Like normal is the most dangerous level of action. Just being complacent with whatever you're doing. So perfect example, 
when I, before I took the, the leap to quit my job, you know, I, was, I started my company on the side, just how a lot of beach body coaches do their business and which is nothing wrong with it, but I couldn't be committed to both things. Right. So I'm halfway in over here and then I'm, oh, and then I'm more or less mentally, I quit my job cause I didn't want to be there, you know, and I'm there for five months, just pulling hair, smiling, saying I'm great, you know? Just, but, and then what was I being, I was just doing normal levels of action for my company that I started and then my company that I'm really getting paid from. Right. So that's when I said, F it, I'm going to quit. And now we're just going to go all in. And now that's kind of where we're going to talk here. Um, so have any of you ever heard of the 10 X rule? I'm sure Megan has. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Kind of Jenna. She's shaking her head. Okay. You need to read it. 100% or listen to it. Or listen, listen to it. Listen to it actually. Listening, to it actually listening to it's actually better because the guy that wrote, wrote the book, one of my dudes, Grant Cardone, super sweet man. But uh, he, he's wild. But <laughs> he reads his own books, which makes it so good. And, he, and you think I go on tangents. He'll like write something, write something and you'll hear it. And then he'll just go off for like five minutes. And it's not even in the book. I've read the book multiple times. So it's actually in the book is nothing like the audio book, which is just makes it amazing. And the concept of the 10 X rule is you want to set your goals and targets 10 times higher than they really are. But then also hedge that with the action that you're taking to hit that goal. So let's just, let's just use, for example, you're a beach body coach and you want to make 10,000. Actually, let's just say this. You want to do coaches on your team? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we won't go by money. Sorry. Um, <laughs> we'll go by, okay. How, okay. Coaches on your team. So there's some coaches that are starting out with probably a couple coaches and then they get up to four or five. They're going yeah. like, and then they hit that wall, right? They're like, Oh no. Well, I've been doing this at five. I've had one, one ad, one quit, one ad. One, one ad. Jessica, you're not muted. What? You're not muted. Can you mute, please? Oh, perfect. Thank you. Um, where was that? Um, you're saying that you get like five coaches. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then people quit and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so like most businesses, right? They When they start off, you have all that energy, all the momentum, and you're like, oh, this is going to be easy. Man, easy. And then you're like, okay, drop, drop, drop. So in this instance, this is where normalcy, you beat normalcy and you'll beat 99% of all other coaches and not even beat, but encourage and help raise your team. It's with the 10 X mindset. So say you have five coaches on your team and your goal, you're like, really, Billy, I want 20. Okay. You're going to set your target at 200 coaches. And you're like, Whoa, dude, like <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, I know it is. Isn't it? Like you're thinking, how the hell am I going to get 200 coaches? I tell her this all the time. Stop thinking small. And I don't mean that in a bad way. No, you do. I, I do. Good. But literally like some people might think I'm being a dick and I'm not like <laughs> seriously, like I'm not. And it really comes off as that sometimes, but I really want people to grow because I've seen it happen to people that you, you that just never should have happened. So like, okay, let's use you're at, you want, you want to go from five to 20 coaches. You're going to set that goal at 200 coaches. But what you're also going to do is do the action it's going to require for 200 coaches. And now you're saying, oh, Billy, well, I don't have time to do that. I work 40 hours a week. Cool. So does a lot of people. So did you. So did I. I mean, I'm not going to use that as an excuse. But like Gary Vee even says that you work your nine to five and then you work your five to nine. Like realistically, you can still parents, mother, children. I get it. It, 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 I'm not saying it's an excuse. It's not an excuse. But like when you want something, you know, jobs, you have three, four jobs and you're like, damn, I want to get out of the rat race. I want to get out of the rat race. Well, you got to have super high goals and you got to go for it. Cause here's the deal. If you set your goal at 20 coaches and you're like, okay, I'm going to set realistically, Billy, I don't think I can get 20. Dude, you already lost. Mm -hmm. So, and let's be realistic here. If you set your goal at 200 and you bust ass to get to two, you do your work to get to the amount of work required to get 200 and you get 40, you get 10. That, that would be I huge. mean, that's the point. Like you want to set goals that are so high that are unattainable. That's the point. My company, we have daily goals, weekly goals, monthly goals. And no, we've never hit a goal. You're not supposed to hit goals. That's one thing. You're not supposed to hit your goal. 
Your goals need to be unattainable. Your goals need to be out of your reach. You want goals so high you never hit them. Because it's just not – because here's the deal. If you hit your goal and you work your ass to your goal, then, then you did – then your goal was too low, realistically, because you could have went more. You could have went way more. Now, like, some of – there might be somebody here thinking, well, that's, like, unreasonable, and it is. It's completely un- – but you have to be unreasonable because the 99% is not being unreasonable. You're not being unreasonable. You're, You're being normal. But here's the deal. Like, when everyone's running this way, you got to go this way. It, it's and, – and it really – it comes down to so much because, like, the amount of effort to get 10 coaches, you would be so surprised, is the same effort to get 200. It's actually probably easier to get 200 than 10 because you've been worried about getting one coach forever. I'm sure there's somebody on yeah. here saying, I just want to sign buddy somebody up. Well, you're worried about two. You're worried about one. I mean, why do you think you can't get it? Because you're thinking so small. You need to be thinking, I need to get 100. And I need to do, hold on a second. I need, I need, to, do, I need to do the, I need to do enough work to get going to get to 100. And, and I'm going to talk about, like, I didn't even have this written down. But you could buy time, like, literally. Like, people don't realize that. Buying time is committing. And you could buy time by hiring somebody to be helping all day. When you're at work every day, you could pay somebody on Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. I do it for my company. My company's outside sales and talent solutions. I don't have enough capital right now to hire on five recruiters. But what I do have is 30 bucks a day that I'm paying somebody to go recruit at night for me. So when I come in in the morning, I have leads. My company has leads to follow up on. I'm not saying that's an apple to an apple, but you got to be creative. You got to think creatively to how do you, and that's 10x level of thinking. 10x level of, isn't just like action activity. It's thinking too, like, okay, how do I think creatively? You know, how do I follow up? Follow ups. People worry, how do I get customers? It's the easiest thing ever. I tell Ashley all the time. It's the easiest thing ever. You've, you've helped me a lot. I, I wanted to Sorry. say something. No, I, no, I, I just want to, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We need to get a better setup for next time. Um, no, I wanted to touch on what he said because I used to get so hung up on, I really want Andrea to be the next coach on my team. And I just, I want, I know she would be amazing at it. And I'd only focus on Andrea. And if Andrea didn't said no, or if Andrea said maybe later, or if Andrea wasn't getting back to me, I would get so upset. And I would get so down and I would be like, I would literally go to him and be like, no one wants to join my team. And then Billy would say, how many people did you invite? How many people did you ask? And then he, I would realize and he would realize that I was only focusing on one person. And that's why it felt impossible. But if you use the success club tracker, if you use the, the things you can control. So this is something I've always, I've learned recently is like, you cannot control who joins your team, who signs up for a challenge pack, who says yes. but you can control how many people you invite, how many people you. All right, yeah. With. So this goes into this. This goes into this. So kind of what she just said. Like all of you watching this, female, male, everybody, everybody's in sales. Number one. So if you say you're not a salesperson, I'm sorry, you're wrong. If you're a teacher, lawyer, a doctor, a kid, a kid's the, okay. Yes, Megan. <laughs> a kid is the biggest salesperson, right? A kid doesn't want, a kid does not get what he wants. What does he do? He cries and guess what? He gets what he or she gets what he wants. They want their diaper changed. Oh, you don't know. Oh, they tell you because they sold you. They need their diaper changed, right? So you've been selling since you were like one years old and you don't even know it. So like you are a salesperson. So you got to get that out there right away. You feel uncomfortable. You don't want to put yourself out there. Dude, nobody cares. Okay. You think you're posting too much. You're not. Trust me, you should be doing it way more. If you're not having pay people hate on you and say, is it Val? Okay, hey Val, stop messaging me. You've messaged me 20 times in three days. Great, you're doing it awesome. I, no, but creatively, not the same thing. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? You know, you could, and it's a figure of speech, but it's no, like I, the mindset, like you gotta go. And so like, there's a few, I have six reasons why you're not operating at like 10X levels. And this isn't from me, this is from GC. Uncle, just in G. Case, Uncle G, just in case somebody sees this, I did not take these or his ideas. But like, <laughs> it, number one is you're comfortable. Okay, like the reason you're thinking is because you're like, I'm comfy, I'm sitting at home, I'm making a paycheck coming in every week, I'm making a couple hundred dollars a month doing Beachbody. It makes my, it, it makes my, you know, my bills, I'm good, pays for my car. You know, the second reason after you're comfortable is you have wrong targets and time management. 
kind of like what we were talking about. And if you're, I'm not going to go on about like the time management piece on how you can like buy time, but there's millions of ways to do it for free. Like so many little, like that I use in my like B2B, meaning like business to business world that I sell in every single day, you could literally buy time which is the most important thing as an entrepreneur, by the way, how are you making money? Meaning generating leads and stuff while you're sleeping. Like, Oh, you know, Jenna wants to, you know, send out a hundred messages, but at the same time you want to create new material, eBooks, this, that, this, there's ways to do all of that. So, but without you having to do it. So the number three after wrong targets and time management is recruiting mistakes. Ashley hit on it earlier. I don't necessarily agree with 100% of it about like you can't <laughs> control who who does what on your team because I think that comes back from recruiting. I think that you you need to, I think you need to set your goals higher, but reasonable expectations. You know, like hey, you're probably not going to make if they're doing it to make money and make an impact, like full time. Hey, you're probably not going to make money for five six months. But if you work your ass off and set the goals that you know you or your coach lays in front of them like hey this is what you do and this is what i expect you to do now you're going to start making not even the money you're going to be start helping people and guess what yeah we all want to make more money right but the more people you help the more money you will make okay it's just a fact right you help a million people megan you're going to make so much money Jenna, same with you. Val, same with you. Frankie, Christy, Jessica, it's all the same. Like the more people you help, the more money you'll make. It just is a fact, you know? So like when you look at something, and I still got three more, but I went three more, but I like going on a little side tangent here. This is why like going back to commitment, this all ties into commitment. When you message somebody about your program or whatever you're trying to do, it literally has to do with you're helping them. Like who cares if they're not interested? Not not everyone's interested, okay? Like, but you don't know unless you ask. So you have an ethical and moral obligation to, to let them know that. Because if you believe in Beachbody and if you believe in what it stands for and like what the products can do to people, not just personally, professionally, but like faith, fitness, like family, like what it could do, what I've seen it do, what I've seen it do to Ashley and, and her family, her friends, like you have an obligation to tell everybody about it. Who cares if they don't like it? Dude, they do, they're just hating them. They're, they got some other shit going on that just bothers them. You know, if somebody really has the time to say, oh, you're annoying me right now, leave me alone. Like, come on. Okay. Like, don't worry about it. They're not eating. You don't want to work with them. Because they'll be the person asking, hey, Val, what the hell? I thought I was supposed to lose 20 pounds and spend three days. Like, what's going on, you know? <laughs> um, all right, four. Like, disengagement by your team and you. Like, and you are your team. Like, so if you're disengaged, your team's going to be disengaged. You know, I don't want to go to work every day. Fact, every nobody does, but I don't want my team to see me coming and dragging ass at you know eight o'clock in the morning. Billy, what's wrong? Nothing. Shut the door. Leave me alone. I'm like, no, you can't do that, dude. Fake it till you make it. I know it's, you've all heard it, but like, you gotta you gotta keep putting it out there. People want to see you being happy. They want to see, but they also want you to be engaged. And 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 a lot of your team. I don't know how many of you run a team, but I'm sure. The whole goal here is to get a bunch of people. Your team is going to do what you do. So if they see you not doing any action, like a lot of action, and what are they? You're and you're wondering what the hell's going on. Well, what do you think? I mean, really, what do you think is the issue? Is it your team or is it you? And I tell her this all the time. <laughs> like, is and it, and it sounds harsh, but it's completely the truth. So. And this is good because it's not meant to like scare anybody. Like it's just meant to be like a realistic thing. Like you can think so much higher. How do you, there's beach body coaches. Like I look like at the top beach body coaches. I look at all the financial statements of beach body and I see what these top coaches are making. And I look at their pages and I'm like trying to reverse engineer it for Ashley. And I see like, they're not doing anything different from you guys, but what they are doing it is at levels of action are like mm -hmm. so much higher. So Dude, a podcast. I swear to God, I never did it before. It's the easiest thing ever. Like after an hour of like YouTube Googling, I figured it out and I'm not a smart dude. And I did it on this iPad. Like, yes, you are. okay. But like, <laughs> I'm not like that smart of a dude, you know? I mean, I, okay. What you've learned is I failed out of college twice before 25, but you know, you all learn. Right. So, um, <laughs> but, uh, but that's the thing, right? Like you could do all these things because the other people in your business are doing it. So like when you say, when you say, oh, I can't get one person, well, how the hell did this chick sign up a hundred people this week? 
You know, you want to see these people walk, you see these people walking across the stage and you're like, oh, that'll never be me. You're right. It won't ever be you. Sorry. It's the truth. I told her this all the time. If you really think that it's never going to be you or how do I get up there? Like erase those words. Okay. What do I need to do to get up there? Like, oh, okay. I want to walk across the stage. What do I need to do? And you know, your goal shouldn't even, you should be the stage like where they're like, Hey, Megan, you were the number one performer in Beachbody. Your team was the best, Woo-hoo! right? It'll yeah. happen. It'll happen. It'll happen. But again, none of this will happen if you don't really set ridiculous goals that are ridiculous goals. Like if you have a significant other, say, hey, I'm going to sign up 100 people in April. Or what month is it right now? In, April? End of April. It's end of April. So next month is May. Um, yeah, I'm going to sign up 100 people in May. They're going to say, wow, how are you going to do that? Massive action. Don't worry about it. I'll figure it out. <laughs> You know, but that's what it takes, right? Um, Okay, so lack of success is number five. So four was discouragement in your team. Number five is lack of success. And that doesn't mean like financial success, but lack of success could be like, okay, I haven't signed a coach in five weeks. I'm stuck. Uh, You know how we were talking about earlier. Oh, I'm going up, I'm going down. I'm going up, I'm going down. Oh, now I'm stable. Well, that goes back to commitment. This all, as you see, this all ties in together. It all ties in. Like, your lack of success will mess with your mind, right? Which will limit your goals, which will say, oh, I, my goals are too small now. I can't, you know, I, I can't, I'm, I haven't been successful. And we're, we're still gonna, I still got a few other, a lot more things I gotta say, but it's like in baseball, right? The best batters, the best hitters are batting 300. That's like 30%. And yet they're getting millions and millions of dollars. Like it's, as I always say, sales is a contact sport. The more people you hit, the more you'll have come in. So the more leads you talk to, the more people will help you, if that makes sense. So think about it like sales is a contact sport. Beachbody is a contact sport, meaning that you have to shoot bow and arrows at everybody. See if they'll come in, see if they'll come in, see if they'll engage. And it's okay. Not everybody's going to engage. It's okay. Um, All right, final one. And this is the most important, by the way, is no commitment to training like the essential the essential the essential the essential and also like if you are a beach body coach like document your whole entire life like who cares people want to see you okay like if your significant other or, or or yourself might have an issue with it there's it's part of the business it's part of the business you know and if it makes you uncomfortable good do it Because you have goals so high that that's not a problem. Because, like, your goals are so high, you don't care what Bob on Instagram comment number two said to you. You know, you post too much. Great. Block. See you later. (laughs) You know, don't look at my stuff then. But the thing is, is that, you know, no commitment to training is essential. Like, that should be, like, 1A and 6. Like, because if you're not training training as in, like, well, business training. Like, I know Beachbody has, like, a – what is it called? Beachbody Champions page. Okay, so your Beachbody Champions page, like if you're not engaged in it, you don't need to do it like an hour a day. Like my company, we're I don't know if any of you have ever heard of Cardone University. It's like a it's a real it's a really expensive like sales training platform. We have our entire team on. They're required to do three segments a day, Sunday through Saturday, irrelevant if it's the weekends, because it's something that you do. Because it, it, studies show that if in uh, sales training, if you don't train for 16 hours, a salesperson goes rusty. And again, you're all salespeople. So meaning this and like, and I'm not necessarily saying just look at Beachbody, but look at all this other stuff. Oops. So when I say training, like via Instagram training, um, network marketing training, Beachbody training, diversify your thoughts. And I mean, I have a bunch of stuff I could have Ashley send you guys to show you stuff specifically like of like what we've done and like what I have a lot of other like network marketer friends that I've met that knowing what they do. And, and obviously none of the, a lot of training isn't free and I would always invest in some sort of paid training. And the reason I say that is, is because if you don't pay for something, you don't value it. If something's free, you won't do it. Like you just, you might do it for a few days, but like if something's free, you won't do it. This is true. That's why you see, by the way, a lot of these courses and mastermind groups online that you're like who the hell's paying ten thousand dollars to be in this i'll tell you who people that are really committed because they know that everybody in that group or that mastermind or even the ones that are like a hundred dollars there's ones that are like 9.99 a month 
just to be a part of a group. And the reason that is, is the reason they're not free is because they know that people are going to be committed. And also there's going to be like-minded people, right? So it's like training, no commitment to training is like one of the worst things you could do. Yeah. So, but like realistically, like all of this ties back into commitment, right? Where your goals, where you have goals so big that your problems pale in comparison. Ooh, you like know, that. so like, do what? I like that. Yeah. Like your problems, like you want, yeah. Like your goal, you have goals so big that your problems pale in comparison. Because realistically, if you have like, again, going back to where like, I can't get two coaches. Well, yeah, of course. Cause you're thinking about two coaches. You're only thinking of two. Yeah. Start thinking about 200, start thinking about 20. How do I get 50? How do I get a hundred? You'll get those two super quick. I swear to God, like it's going to be wild. Like if you went out there and you go and seriously look through your, your, your stuff and like me, you got to what? Yeah. No, I want to oh. ask. Um, okay. So who, and it's okay if you didn't yet, but who will listen to the national wake up call this morning? Anybody? Jenna did. Good job. Um, so she is a newer coach and went elite, I think, within a year, year and a half. Um, and what she said was, at first, instead of only inviting five people a day, she invited 30 a day. And then now she invites, I think she said 62 or 65. Yeah, over 60 people a day. Wonder why she's elite? That, mean, that woke me up. That woke me up real bit. Like, wow. I was like, wow. I am, I noticed myself kind of doing the bare minimum some days and being like, well, I got my five. If I want to be elite, if I want my team to be elite in 2020, I cannot be inviting only five people a day. So um, I definitely think that goes hand in hand with, you know, you've got to shoot, you've got to aim high, you've got to have bigger goals. I know, I mean, I'm very lucky that Billy has really pushed me out of my comfort zone because. Um, I remember it was a few months ago. I was like, I want to be five star elite. And he said, isn't 15 star the highest rank? And I said, yeah. And he's like, why are you going for 15 star diamond? And I was like, cause I'm scared, but I know I need to face that fear. And if I don't aim for 15 star diamond, I'm not going to even get to five star diamond. All right. Let me jump in it's here. Real quick. Let me jump in here. Cause I got like a few more things that I know some of you probably want to go. Nah, I hope not. But, um, all right. So. I'm just going to run down a few things real, real quick. These are like, like hot takes real quick. So like, A, money follows attention. Okay. If you're not getting attention, you will not. I mean, when I say money, meaning team, like your team building, customers, customers people aren't going to join your team if they don't know you. Okay. If nobody knows you, they're not going to, you're not going to be able to help people out. So again, you have an obligation to get known, whether that's within your family more, your friends, okay. your local community. You know, I'm sure you, you all live in a house or a town, right? You know, so I'm sure that town has like the city hall or something, right? Well, I'm sure that they have events where you can, you know, Ashley has a, she wants to help out women, right? You know, women that are bullied and then younger anxiety. or anxiety, right? So we're trying, she's going to start looking at like, where does she go help people out? Not to talk about beach body, but again, the more people that know you, right? It's all about how, how many more people can you help by, by having them know you? And you, cause you have an obligation to tell them how, how Leah can make an impact on, you know, the world. What's Leah's story. What's Val's story. What's Jenna's story. Right? Like, what are your stories that, you know, and you have, you all have something different than each other, but you, you all know that whatever you've gone through in life to make you who you are today, you know, that if you tell more people about it, that you'll be better off. Right. Or, or you'll be happier cause you know, you'll make an impact on somebody. Um, all right, so I said to that, da, 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 da. oh, okay, 100% of all leads buy. So like, meaning that if, if, and this is more of a sales focus point that I really wanted to hit on because I love sales. But uh, if you're concerned about like your person going away, it's cool. Like you guys got to realize a couple of things. All of your leads are going to buy, whether they buy that pack from you guys, a challenge pack from you guys or go to a competitor, they're going to buy. So like, don't worry about it. Like just keep hitting people. As I said earlier, sales is a contact sport. And I wanted to talk about this real quick too. Some, what? Yeah. The follow-up oh, follow facts here. So 2% of all sales or help gets made on the first contact. A lot of people, and I've seen Ashley do this, send a message and the person's like, I'm good. I see what you do. I'm not interested. Like, great. You don't even know what I want to tell you yet. How can you be interested? Right? Like, how could you totally agree? But like, 
3% of all sales are made on the second. So only a 1% jump, right? 5% on the third. So you're seeing a steady. And these are follow up with that individual, your Instagram message or text message, however you guys do it. 10% on the fourth. And then it jumps up to 80% of all sales happen between the fifth and 12th contact. So what that tells you, it takes five contact points to close anybody. So when you're sitting there worried like, oh, I've talked to Megan like three times in like five days, dude, you're at 5%. Like relax. Okay. Like I tell her this all the time, like chill, but this also doesn't mean <laughs> send like, Hey, where are you? Here's some challenge pack information. You, you girls and guys got to be creative about it. Like, Hey, I was thinking about you. I saw this article that Beachbody posted. It specifically helps out women that have X, Y, Z. Like maybe they tell you about her. Maybe when you, maybe you start, and this is what I do with my team. We have like a Google drive where like if a customer tells me a problem they're having, I'll find like a relevant news article who gives a crap if it's about my company, but it's like a relevant news article that I use and just say, Hey, thought of you. Right. So like, so like you keep it in the bank, like, like just create like a bank of like data, like Google, like certain things that you really like and you really like about yourself and whatever your brand is, you know, whatever it is, you have a brand or an identity, right? Find like five, six little info, even infographics are like perfect. Because people don't like words that like pictures with like percentages, right? Hey, thought of you, Jenna. You know, you told me that you have, you know, you, you have a lot of anxiety, right? Hey, did you ever know that yoga helps out with anxiety by like 47% if you do it four times a day? Hey, just wanted to let you know that we actually have yoga included in all of the videos. Like, you're not selling them, you're helping them. Like, hey, thought of you, who sends people like an article or a note, you know? And it takes 30 seconds. Once you have the data, it takes, it'll take you a few hours to get all this stuff. But like, that's just a creative way of follow up. You know, your first contact, you're not closing them. I mean, maybe they might come to you and I'm not saying you won't close them. You won't, they won't buy, they won't buy their, you know, they, you can't help them. Yeah, that's a great idea. A book. That's that's, a, that's a great idea. Always do that. That's a great well, idea. Well, I think too. Um, I think too that goes into like obviously if uh, we have a new program coming out and you know that it could help somebody because they said that was something they were struggling with like six months ago. You could then reach out to them again and be like, "Hey, I remember like a few months ago we talked about this and you were struggling with this. Like when Transform Twenty came out, you you don't have time. Well, now we have a workout that's only twenty minutes." So having that in the back of your mind and having that on a document is going to be so helpful when new things come up too. Yeah. So that's a great idea. And like that actually made me think of another thing we do, which I would totally do. And I've been telling Ashley to do this for years and she hasn't done it yet. So like, <laughs> no, no, it's cool. No, no, it's good though. Because like, you know, you need to do this. Um, how many of you guys hear the same objection over and over? You hear it all the time. The same one, right? Oh, yeah. You have been telling me this. Okay. So like, <laughs> what is your response every time, right? You're always like, oh, what do I say? I keep hearing this all the time. You know why? It, half the time, it's not even an objection, by the way. And you think it's an objection and it's just a complaint, but you can treat it like an objection. There's a huge difference between a complaint and objection, okay? Totally oh, different. it's too much money? Dude, that is, not a com that is not an objection. That's a complaint. How many times do you go to the grocery store and you say, oh my God, I spent this much money? You do it all the time. Price is a myth, okay? Unless it's like $1,000, which it's not, price is a complete myth, and I'm going on a sales tangent here. But like, <laughs> seriously preach. though, like, it's so true. Though. Every single thing you hear is all the same. It's too much money. Eh, I don't like working out. Eh, I'm vegan. Okay, great. I don't work out. I only run. I, I do, you hear the same stuff every day, and it really it bothers me to my core when I ask Ash, like, what are you going to say? And I don't mean this to throw her under the bus because it's like, it's teaching me I've to do it too. But it's like, it's seriously like, if you guys do like even like 2% of what I just talked about, you're going to make yourself the 99%, like 100%, like 100%. Because seriously, like having like just data points saying, having just stuff archived, ready to go. Hey, you know, someone says to you, hey, you know what? I'm not interested. I, I don't have $39 a month or whatever it costs, right? What does it cost per month? 160 for a challenge pack. Okay, so I don't have $160 for a challenge pack. Hey, totally agree. Get it, you know? And I'm saying from like a sales point of view, but it's like, okay, 
you know, but now you guys know that's coming. Like why wait for them to tell you, go to them and say, Hey, you know what? That's, I agree with you. Is it Marie? Yeah, I agree with you, Marie. Okay. Hey, you know what? That's what a lot of our other customers said until they saw this, this, and this, then they realized, you know, they're actually saving money. The value, it's a value, value, value. Yeah. But like, <laughs> but like it, it is what it is. It is. But like, if you start, you know, having little stuff and like, and if you guys need help, send, uh, send Ashley. Uh, yeah. She's on a computer. Um, if, if maybe, you, maybe we should have Billy like, come up with objections. I have so <laughs> many, like, but, but here's the thing. You guys probably hear the same, like four to five. Yeah, we do. You might hear like the one off anomaly. That's like, Oh, I don't, I don't do network marketing. Cool. Me either. But until I saw it, but that's again, is that an objection or a complaint? You know, objections are like, you'll don't know, like, Hey, leave me alone. I am not interested. Okay, great. Let me ask you time, money too shy. Hey, great. When you say you don't have time, what do you mean? That's easy. Not a priority. Like, like, not a priority. like no, well, what, when you, okay. But here's the thing. The one thing in sales, it's just like people tell you what they're telling themselves. So like, you, what do you mean you don't have time? Dude, you got to ask hard questions, like hard questions. And that's not even a hard question. Like when you, Hey, here's the deal. Like I want to, someone might tell you, Hey, I don't have the time. I don't have the money, but I know I need to lose weight. And you go on their page and you start seeing stuff. There is a way to, after you build that relationship a little bit and say, Hey, Sarah, whatever her name might be. Hey, you know, we've been chatting a little bit, you know, you told me that, you know, you didn't have the time, the energy, the money. And I just want to let you know it. And, and you guys might think this is too pushy, but it's not, it's not, you have an obligation. You know, we do, you, and you, you, you might not start high, but you, you enter them into like the lowest little thing ever. Hey, have you thought about just buying the cheap, the, exactly, Megan, the worst they can say no. And again, they're going to tell you no four times already before you sell them. Or talk might to them take about 10 it. Times. Of course, it might take 12 times, it might take 20. But when somebody says no, or, or I'm too shy, you know, I'm too shy. Hey, totally understand. And you know what? A lot of beach body coaches were super shy. And that's why we have a great team to help you grow within the community first. You know, it's not about selling. You tell them that it's up. There you go. It takes your own. Cons there you go. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And, it, and like, just like time. And when someone says, I don't have the time. Well, time for what? I'm not even asking you to be a coach. You know, I just want to help you. You don't need to be a coach. Coach will happen in time because you'll see the value of it already. I don't even need to talk to you about it. You know, it's, it's, there's so many things that aren't even like, I have like hundreds of these that I can go about. You, maybe we should like type something up for them because I actually kind of want to do that. Yeah, I'd love that. Yeah. Who would like that? Raise um, your hand. <laughs> because realistically, like, I have a book. <laughs> Woo, I, I actually have a book here somewhere. I don't know if it's around here. What book? like a whole objection book, like of we'll, everything we'll yeah, that I've, but like, no, for like me. So I do this, right. And like, I, cause I hear the same thing. Oh, it's too much money. Oh, it's going to delay. Oh, you know, Billy, I think the guy's cheaper. Great. Totally get it. A lot of people saw they were, cause you guys here probably hear this too. Oh, it's too much money. I can get it for like $40 at GNC. Hey, you know what? That's great. Totally understand. And now you guys have your data bank of why GNC is shit compared to Beachbody <laughs> or whatever other competitor is crap compared to Beachbody. Oh, like, oh. because, well, because here's the thing, right? You, you can Google online right now, Beachbody versus this, and find like the statistics that favor, that weigh in your favor. And that's- that, Well, we just know the ingredients. Well, but also, but, but here's the thing, you know, people worry about what to talk about. What content do I do? Like ingredients in a, in a, in a bottle, ingredients in the stuff, like talk to them about it. Like, hey, did you know, you mentioned to me anxiety, the difference between this, this one is actually going to be better for you because it has this in here. Ashwagandha, you know? which actually helps love, uh, there you lower go. your stress levels. That's in Shakeology. When you ask them, do you, do, do, <laughs> I'm ready. Do, 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 do you Ashwagandha? Question mark. I, you yeah, know, and then they go, huh? What does that mean? Well, hey, great. You know, here it is, right? <laughs> but like, there's so many creative ways to, to stand yourself out. You want to be so persistent in your follow-up that you want to stand out as the only choice. And meaning like when people think of like, like not even beach body, but when they think of like, dude, I don't want to join Val's team because of the product. I want to join it because of Val. Yeah. Like that's what you're trying to do. <laughs> and you, but like, there's just so many things that like you could do just to take your business to like ridiculous levels. And I know I've talked for a while, you know, real quick, but I wanted to say this one thing, like one more thing, one more thing. I promise. I promise. <laughs> you're doing good. Um, actually two more things. 
So, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so one of the big things is people are always like, how the heck do I find new business? Like, I keep tapping the pipeline. Like, first, stop. You don't always have to go after new business. The second sale is always the easiest. What's the second sale? Dude, it's the person you just sold a week ago. It's the person you just sold a month ago. Hey, saw you just bought a challenge pack. I didn't know if you saw this. This helps you with this. I see you're very active, but you bought this. Have you thought about, you know, having hydrate? Because throughout the day, studies show third-party validation. You bring in data. Because anytime you bring in third-party validation like data from that you didn't, that Beachbody didn't create, specifically if it's like an institution, like, dude, yeah, we have the, Bring we have it the in. research. There you go. Research. Bring in your research. Hey, don't believe me. Believe yeah, believe Harvard. Like, <laughs> I'm not Harvard, but Harvard likes me. So, like, you should do business <laughs> with me. Right? But, like, so, so like, getting lead that I tell actually, like, your second sale. So, the people that just bought with you from in the past month, you should be following up with them. Like, today. I don't know. You know, they should have followed up with them, like, yesterday. So like, you know, if you have people that like bought from you recently, like whether it's your mom, grandma, cousin, aunt, Hey, how's it going? You know, how's the first 30 days going? You know, I see you've been posting, you see, you've been active, you know, have you thought about hydrate or, or coaching? Or, 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 the coaching yes. But they, not everybody might, you know, the, what you have to feel out like your customer, right? Cause there's different products and I'm calling coaching a product in this instance, because at yeah. first, you know, your way in is through this, right? You don't want to go from this, right? And then go coaching when they're like, ah, no, I really not a good time. Well, that's great. Because for some people, it's really not a good time. Like, remember, you can't sell everybody, right? It's just not possible. Mm -hmm. But if you hit like a million people, you're going to be straight. Trust me. Like, so the second sale is super important. Your sold customers. So the people that you sold over like the past year, are, have, have any of you guys been coaching for over a year? Yeah. Okay, so like the people that have been coaching for over a year, or what about how long have you been coaching, Jenna? Six months. What about you, Val? What about you, Marie? It's Christy. It's Christy. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I don't know. You know you're uh, it, it'll be a year next Christy. month. Sorry. A what? A year next month. Okay, so Ooh, like yay. all of you, what you really should be doing is go back through like your entire history of all of your transactions. And I guarantee you, there's so many people in there that don't buy from you anymore or haven't bought yeah, from you. That's so true. Like, dude, that's the easiest business you could get and it like bothers me. I don't know why it bothers me, but it just bothers me because it's low hanging fruit. These people, and honestly, you know what? You know what they, exactly. And you know what they did? It's not even that they don't know you. They, they forgot about you. They forgot about you. And, and, and guess what? that it, it does bother me and like <laughs> but like if you can tell but like the thing is is like they just like how much stuff do you for how much stuff do you forget about that you're like oh shit dude i forgot about this today darn it so like many things. like every day right i still i have a no i had to set an alarm today to remind myself at 9 30 to send out this email and i didn't even send it at the time i set the reminder like what was i doing right but like here's the thing like, so when I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself too, you know, cause it's like, that's what you need to do because I need to hold myself accountable. But seriously, like you, it's so easy. Go through all your old customers. Like the ones you sold to, I guarantee you, you'll sell 50% of them like on something and selling them doesn't need to be monetarily either. Just a transaction, like re getting that conversation, putting them back in the pipeline, like where, you know, like, okay, Hey, they were not talking to me, but now they're talking. And now I know I'm just going to say, hey, keep that conversation going. How was Easter? Like, this is great time to reach out to them. Like, hey, how was your Easter holiday weekend? Or how was your holiday weekend? However you want to phrase it. It doesn't matter. But how was your weekend? It's been a year. Thought of you. Hope all is well. Hey, have you seen what's coming out here in the next six months or three days or whatever? Like, easiest sell ever. So your unsold, so so the second sale, the people that just bought with you from in like the past like recent like month, and then anything else from that like the data bank, just go back through and just literally, it's gonna be it'll be, all of you will be very happy within the next couple weeks, like no doubt. Um, and then really like referrals, you guys gotta ask people. Like it's like referrals are the easiest way to get business too, and all those ways are like super easy. Hey mom, who do you know? 
that you that will that is interested in their health. I'm not asking your mom and your mom's gonna say, no, I don't sell. Dude, I'm not asking you to sell. I'm just asking you who do you know that is interested in health and fitness and lifestyle and being happy and being healthy. Nobody? Okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, um great idea. <laughs> I remember last week's National Wake Up Call. She briefly mentioned a referral card. I'm going to go back. So I already made some notes. Thank you, Billy. So tomorrow I'm already going to, number one thing is follow up with all my past customers. I've been a coach for almost six years. I have a ton of people that I have not spoken to from the beginning. So that totally, I, I need to do that. So I'm just going to check in with them and see how they're doing. Um, and then referral cards, I'm going to look into what that um, coach on the National Wake Up Call, she was the one with the short blonde hair um did for a referral referral card and i'm going to start promoting that in may um or, or like next week i need to get it created probably on canva or something um and then i think another thing that we all need to take away is setting bigger goals i always set success club five this month i set for success club 10. that's too low that's way too low because i'm not even at success club 10 yet i'm only at six and that's because i set my goal for only 10. So I, those are my three action steps for sure that I'm going to take with the, with me tomorrow. And that's what I want to encourage you guys too. It's like Billy obviously dropped a lot of truth. Well, I got, well, I got one, and that's it. I got one more okay, thing. Yeah, one thing. <laughs> that, um, it, all that was one thing. Yeah. All but just, we got, you got to take action. You can't just hear what he has to say, say, put the hands up and be like, amen, but not do anything. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, seriously, I would totally invest in like, just like a hundred dollar, like, program or $20 program I mean I'll go on all night trust me Leah like she has like she knows like I can't sleep maybe you it's should so create your own sales program for everybody follow listen to the gong <laughs> podcast it's awesome every Wednesday at 8 a.m something <laughs> I had to plug it um all right so finally like there's either there's yeah right Ashley wants to blow her brain out sometimes like around me no yeah what do you mean no, I'm just kidding. Um, all right. So final thing is, is that you either after all this stuff, like thinking about it, like, um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes. All right. I mean, I can go on for days. So like, um, okay. So like, I'll, I'll keep going then until you tell me to stop. So like, there's four things that like, <laughs> <laughs> um, that you could really like, and open that window a little bit. Yeah. This ring light is um, making him sweat. So you either I'm, do I'm... nothing with this. Like you just stay there and like, okay, I'm just going to do nothing. Like, I'm just going to sit here and just take this in, just wasted my own time, like an hour of time. Like, now I'm just going to, like, just sit on my couch and do nothing about it. Or you could, like, retreat, say, this is – there's no way I could think bigger than five coaches. Like, and you know what? I quit. Beachbody's not for me. Great. It's probably not, and I agree with you. Or you could stay average, just do what you're doing, coast away. Or you could think massive, like, and there's really, like, no reason not to – because of all the reasons I just said for like an hour, right? Um, yeah, I mean, what, do you guys have any questions? Like, I mean, I know some of you probably got to get going soon, but like, I'll yeah, stay on as long as I questions? can. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do. I definitely think the 10x <laughs> rule, listening to and yeah. doing the 10x rule should be your you, next personal development. I would, book. I mean, and it's not, and it's not even a sales book. It's more about like, yeah, it really is a mindset. Like, I swear to God, like, it's weird. I thought I was busy. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to start a second company. Oh, I'm going to start a podcast. Like, and then I got buddies of mine who were like, you know, they want to work for my company. And they're like, hey, can I work part time? Like at night, like, you know, and I'm a nice guy. So typically I gave them a shot for like a month. Right. And this is what worked out. Right. So that's why I don't like hire friends anymore after this next, this previous thing. But, um, because like they were all in, you know, I did exactly what we just did here, but I'm like, at an intense level but like they didn't do anything and they're like hey i don't got time billy i'm like dude you're going to work at nine you leave at five what do you mean you don't got time like he's like oh well it's a busy day at work dude what do you think i do every day i run two companies i run a podcast that i don't even know how to do and like i just go 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 like go <laughs> like and literally because here's the best thing about going 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 you're going to fail, dude. But wouldn't you rather fail like learning quick or then like waiting? Like I'd rather fail in like eight seconds than think about it. Oh, what do I say to Molly? Like, fuck it, dude. Just say it. Like go. Hey, Molly, 
This is Jen. I've been following you for a while. You know, saw your real, you have an adorable dog. You have an adorable dog. Like, I love dogs. Dude, that's the start in the contact point. You don't need, you don't need to sell these people right away. You just need to build a relationship. Uh, what else? What are, does, yeah. anyone, does anyone have any questions? Yeah. <laughs> or takeaways? Or how about, how about you guys put in the chat what you're going to do tomorrow based off of what yeah. Billy talked about? What's the well, number one thing? The interesting thing be more about, um, the successful people working hard, the only difference between you and them is they work harder. They do work. Yep. So it's that's harder, what like, but yeah, like it really that's doesn't. Like, just keep going. Do the yeah. damn thing. Just yeah. do it. Um, Christy, I want to address what you said. What did she so say? What did she, she said say? that now that she has more time, she feels like she has more excuses. I will tell you right now, I worked more focused before I quit my job to be yeah. a body coach full time. And that is something that I need to get my with because I have totally coasted some days because I'm comfortable. So I have to get uncomfortable and I have to set way bigger goals. And I'll, also, I think it's about being organized, too. You yeah. Know? Well, getting organized and focused. And you know why? You're also making excuses because you have the time. And you're like, how do I fill that time? Because I feel like I'm not doing a lot. Which is true. You're probably not doing a lot. And I don't mean that to be, like, rude. No. But it's like, when you say, like, up. <laughs> well, what kind of excuses are you making, right? Like, like oh. I... <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> See, I don't even have an excuse. That's the thing. I'm just like, uh, I don't know. Like, I'm just not. Well, no, so, so you know why, though? It's because you don't, you're thinking too much about it. Like, dude, nobody knows. Like, there's a fly flying around. There's target. a bug, like, right here. <laughs> but, like, but seriously, like, it's committed. It's He's because committed. you don't. So, A, this actually is, like, probably the perfect book for you, then. Seriously, the 10X rule. Yeah. And honestly, like, you could probably get it for, like, I think on Audible. I don't know if any of you guys have Audible. It's I like, do. I think it's free for like it your first month. It lights a fire. It lights. Oh, well, I know Crystal loves it. Yeah. So, but like, if you're worried about first what to do, the first thing you need to do is start doing. Mm -hmm. So, like, and this goes to like our first thing we talked about. Like, you're not committed until you're really committed, right? Mm -hmm. Like redundant, right there. But seriously, like, you're like, hey, I have more time. I'm really committed. Well, are you? I mean, no. But you will be now. Like. So the cool thing here is, is like, I'm like, shoot me a message on Facebook. Like any questions you guys might have or anything or get to Ashley or Instagram, I guess is my new thing. But, um, you yeah, know, he's on the gram now. I'm on the gram. Okay. But, um, <laughs> but the, the thing is, is like, if you're worried about like what to do and where to start, dude, here's all you got to do. Message a hundred people tonight. Yeah. I mean, how is that hard? Terrifying. You're, you're already on your, why are you, go, go, wait, hold on, hold on, stop, stop. Why are you, <laughs> but here's the thing, like, you're terrified, but guess what, like, Christy, they don't give a shit, dude. That's wrong, yeah. They don't it. care. Like, okay, think about it like this. You know all the time when, like. Send and move on, yes, I love you, that. You, you know all the time people, like, when they give speeches, like, when you give a speech on it, like, when you were, I don't remember, when I stood up in, like, high school in front of, like, 30 people, like, and I would talk, I'd be like freaking out, like, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, when you're in that audience, how many times are you thinking about that person giving a talk? Never, dude. You don't even care. That was my reminder that just went off, by the way. To send send that sales email. report. But, you know, but, but, <laughs> but the thing is, is that, like, nobody's going to care. And if, and if all you have to do, you could literally, like, customize it out and say, hey, or hey girl, however you guys do this stuff. <laughs> like saw that you saw saw that you liked a post of mine. Ooh, Megan. Megan just did the research. Yeah. Oh, see, see? <laughs> and here's the deal. Like, and, if, and it's and it's really along the lines. Like, if 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 you're scared of it, good, because you know it's right. Like deep down inside, yep. you know you should be reaching out to these people, and it bothers you that you're not. Am I wrong? Because here's the deal. No, because here's the deal. There's so many times that my sales guys, and I see this every day. I'll say, dude, follow this script. Trust me, bro, it worked. And he'll be like, and I'll hear him on the phone. And I'm like, Travis, what the hell, dude? You didn't say one thing that I invested a bunch of money and time into. Why? Oh, man, I felt uncomfortable. Well, dude, that's when you know you need to do it. Because here's the deal. You're worried about sending out 100 messages. Like, that's nothing. You could be sending out 1,000 in the next, like, couple hours. And I'm not trying to pick on you, Christy, so please don't. <laughs> no, don't. it's good. I need it. <laughs> but, but, like, 
but it's such a, like a good point because you're not the only person on this call that's thinking that way. I know for a fact. You just have the courage to say it. And like, there's going to be other people that are going to watch this that are thinking the same exact thing. So that was a great question yes. to ask. Yeah. But really though, like you, and again, why not you hundred people, but like you're, you've been a coach for almost a year. You said, have you sold more than five people? And no, like have anybody bought anything from you in the past? That's what I'm saying. Like, okay. So you start there, right? hundred doesn't need to be new, but you could also tell them about what you do. Hey, I don't know if you've been following me lately, mom or dad or whoever. Can you share, can you share this with your friends? Because I really want them to know that I'm taking this serious, right? And like you making an attempt to connect with people, engaging with people, people want to help people. Like, even though some people are dicks and like, are going to respond back to you and say like, Oh, I, I will say, I don't get a lot of, of that. Yeah, I, don't I know. I don't either. It mostly is just people ghosting you. Yeah, just leave me alone. Like, cool. Like, if they don't respond to you. But if deal. they ghost you, don't take, like, oh, well. Yeah, but you also still, but remember, still follow up with the people that ghosted you because, yes, yes. because those people will buy or they'll, they'll, they'll be helped. Not even buy. When I say buy, I think about it transactionally. Like, how are you going to help them? Not always monetarily, but buying, meaning that they're going to go to another coach in Beachbody, yeah. or they're going to go to Herbal Life, or they're going to go to some other stupid thing that is not, but, but or, or they're going to go to GMC, or Vitamin Shop, or wherever, or go to local gym who doesn't care about them, right? So, like, you have an obligation, Christy, or Leah, Megan, Val, Jenna, and Jessica, and Ashley, and myself, to tell every single person about what we do, and that just starts with, tell, hi, I mean, really... It, yeah, it, and I think my last point would be sales um, is a contact sport, really. And like, okay, the best product, <laughs> and this is final, final, final asterisk. We both talk a lot, but like, the best product <laughs> does not ever beat the best known. You need to know that. Like, the best known product wins, hands down. Yeah, and always, dude. Why do you think McDonald's has to advertise like everywhere every eight seconds? Because they they know it's crap, right? McDonald's knows, but they also know they have to pump out that advertising all day. Same thing as Coke. And this is a test. You remember that like Pepsi challenge thing where they did like, they put the two, this was like, man, we, I was probably like 10 years ago. I was like 16, 15 at the time or whatever. No, 15 years ago. I don't know what it was. I don't remember. But the Pepsi challenge was, it was longer than that, right? But it was like, they, they, they put like in like two, two, two see-through cups, Pepsi in one, Coke in the other. They didn't tell you which one it was. Pepsi won like 90% oh, of the time. Oh, that's right. But Coke was one more. But, 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 but not that it's better, but why does Coke win? Brand, brand, awareness, brand. And awareness. They're making sure people know them. No negativity is bad. If somebody doesn't respond to you, good, cool. Hit them again, hit them again, hit them again. Sales is a contact sport. Beachbody is a contact sport. The more longer you, like once you start realizing this, like the more people you hit, the more people you're going to impact. Hitting mean like, yeah, jab, 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 hook. Exactly. Yes. Gary V said it, dude. You got to go in for the kill eventually, but it's like, you're not going to get there if you don't literally want to help and care. Yeah, exactly. Like literally what Megan just typed. If, if you go in yes. there with like, you know, Hey, I saw you work out. Here's a challenge back. Dude, you're not going to work. That doesn't work. I mean, come on. You like somebody knocking on your door in your neighborhood asking, Hey, I want to sell you TV and internet. And I'm good. Like don't need it. Right. But if somebody messaged you engaged, Hey, saw you, your big health and fitness. Me too. I really like what you've been posting. I really agree with it. Hey, and then the next day, hey, you know, I saw you posted something about yoga or running with your dog. You know, you find out some, I don't know, some stupid statistic about how running with your dog benefits your daily life. Dude, it probably does. There's probably a statistic out there about it. You find it, you post it, send it to her. Now she's in the, what I call the drip. It's just a drip, like drip of water coming out of the faucet. You're hitting them once. Boom, 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 right? You're, it, it, and that's where I'm saying, dude, you don't need to close them on the first through four. It could take 10 times, but eventually they're going to come to you. You, you don't want to be going to them. You want them to be coming to you. And how do you come? They come to you by you going to them first. Yeah. But they have to meet you halfway and you'll know. And I would say too, like a hundred contacts <laughs> is not hard. That's, your number should be way higher than that. It's not hard because you're just, Getting to know them. Well, look at your not, that, that, we're not seeing 100 invites. We're seeing 100 contacts. How many people are on your phone? 
literally just chatting with them. And I, once you get thousands. over, once you get over the fear, once you start doing it at massive levels, it's so easy. Like it's second nature. I am not afraid to invite anybody. I am not af afraid to message anybody anymore. I used to be, I used to be so afraid. I used to overthink it, everything. And they say, a lot of coaches say on their, on the training calls, like, um, <laughs> you're fine. Um, that it, it, you have to detach yourself from the outcome. Stop worrying about what they're going to say once you hit send. Well, right. Just that, hit send and send yeah. again and send again yeah, and yeah, send yeah. again and send again because you don't know whose life will change because you reached out and just said, how are you doing? How, how's your health and fitness journey going? Right. But that goes on. Oh, yeah. That goes, it's like where you're focused on like the wrong targets though in the time management because you're focused on expenses, not income, protection, not expansion, problems, not solutions. And then you're planning, not producing, like stop thinking and just go. You could pre-write it on your phone, like five things and just copy paste, change name, do it. I do it all the time, all the time. All my scripts for my customers, yeah, we all have like, like, right. If you, if you don't have a script and the data, like the Google drive thing, I just said, it takes like tonight when you're laying in bed, if you're like, Ashley, you're on your phone, like, like <laughs> this, till, like forever, Excuse you know? Me. I am too, but like, here's the thing, like use like five minutes of that time to like find like some like cool little infographic articles. And if you're even cooler, you'll make your own, which you should definitely be doing. And like the data, all you need to do is if you make your own, you go on Fiverr, that website I told you about, like or Canva. or Canva, make your own, but like, I don't know how to make them. So I just pay somebody like five bucks to do it for me. And like, but like realistically, you put like 76% by like Harvard study, but then you can put your name all over it. Cause you're giving credit, right? It's all it just, people like seeing third party data. I mean, if you could input third party data along with like some of your scripts and just put them in your bank. Hey, it's too expensive. Great. No, I already know what I'm going to say. I already know what I'm going to say to that. Same thing as what, Hey, that's exactly what the most recent coach said until blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Maybe you guys think about objections. Maybe you guys have a thread. Like do you guys, do you guys have like a thread? Like to where you guys can all text like, Hey, just got up this objection. What do you think? Like, you should start it. like, there's no reason you shouldn't. Like, that's what we have to do. Like, every, and I swear to God, you're going to start seeing, like, you're going to be so surprised. Like, collectively, all of your objections are the same. There's only, and, and there's never more than, there's only one reason. There's, or sorry, there's never one reason you lose a deal, too. So if you're worried, like, oh, she said I was bothering her. No, you're good. No, you're fine. You're not, not one thing. So, like, and someone says, oh, I don't got time. That's just, I, oh, I don't have the money. My husband doesn't support me. I don't work out. I'm vegan. I mean, millions of things. Like, you guys got solutions for all of that. Yeah. Yeah. So, are we good? Any questions or any other questions? Or no? Are we? I'm sorry. I can go on for a minute. That was um, really good. That was good. That was really helpful. I hope. hope I hope everybody feels fired up. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Megan. You should go invite a bunch of people. Yeah. So, Leah, yeah. yeah. Me when so, you're done. No, I'm really interested in how many people Christy. <laughs> I need to know what's going on with Christy tonight. I need to know what's I need to know <laughs> that sounds good. No, no, yeah, no. I'm going to bed I'm until good. I'm done with it. So I, I need no, I need I want to no. know what she's what like Wait. by the end of the week though, Christy, and you I want to hear like an update. Yeah, like, Christy, I'm gonna check in on Yeah, you. because really <laughs> between like six of you, you know six hundred people. And that's such a low number. Yeah. Like I know Megan Christy. probably knows thousands of people. Megan is not afraid to invite, connect, follow up, and that's why she's been successful. Because she does she's never had the fear though. I had the fear. I was like a lot of you guys. I had so much fear. And then Billy really helped me just say, get over yourself and just yeah. message people. So yeah, so just commit to your family and commit to your team. And if you don't have a family, commit to yourself. Yeah. Because nothing's gonna happen until you commit. Yeah, you know. Just ask, who cares? Yep. And again, hit me, up, hit me up on the gram at <laughs> Billy Bauman. <laughs> I think you should do a sales training, but that's just me. But One thank minute. you. I'm, I hope you guys had a lot of takeaways from oh. this. And um, yeah, let us know. I'm going to actually check in with everybody this, later this week to see how it's going. Oh, thank you, Megan. <laughs> Thanks. All right, ladies. I hope you have a great night. I have to figure out how to un just stop. Oh, stop the recording. Yeah. Okay. Bye, everybody. 10X. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, have a good night.